Nobody go by by your rule. Nobody want your gun. How come your tongue say get up and kill my mood? Like speed living in the world, you know. With a whole me feeling like a. Yo, damn, man. You look really cool, like, dancing stuff, man. But... Thank you. <coughs> but you want to jump rope? Why? Because I want to see you jump rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. You think I jump rope looking like a fool? You're wrong. Hey, Zendu Nation, what's going on, guys? Today we got a similar format to what we've done before. It's a minute of some sort of jump rope, 20 body weight exercises. Repeat that pattern three times, that's one circuit. Repeat the circuit four to five times and you are going to be tired. And if you want to hang out with us every day and learn how to become a jump rope ninja, yes, I said it, a jump rope ninja like karate, like moving up different belts, then join the jump rope masterclass. It's basically a system for getting really awesome at jumping rope and also getting really good at like certain body weight exercises and travel like eating and stuff so that you don't get, you basically never have to go to a gym again and you can look awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so to get started, we are gonna start off with jump rope regular bounce and all we're doing is the form is the most important thing, guys. So I always talk about form and just not worrying about if you are messing up, just making sure that you are jumping low, about an inch or two only off the ground. Your knees are slightly bent. You can see more as I turn on the side here. The wrists are jutting out to the sides of my hips and my arms are bent at around 90 degree angles. They kind of rotate between 45 and 90 as I'm spinning the rope. But if you'll see, guys, the only thing that's really doing a lot of the work is my wrists. My wrists control everything, and that's one of the biggest challenges that we see, um, you know, that, that barrier that people face when trying to become proficient at jumping rope and changing their body. Good, guys. Keep going, keep going. Now, this is more of an endurance type of workout, even though we're going to be doing some high intensity sets and you only have 10 seconds to rest. This is still a great way to mix in long cardio with fast, intense exercise. So up next, we have three step twist, feet out, and this is a calisthenic move. So you're not actually doing anything with the jump rope. You're just turning your feet to the right and then putting them out in the middle, turning them to the left, putting them out in the middle. So it's a couple step thing. You go left, out, right, out. So when you come back into the middle, when you meet back in the middle, you're going to spread your legs out. So you're just turning to the side, coming back to the middle, and then popping your legs out. Good guys, we're doing 20 of these. And now when I count 20 of these, what I mean is 20 of your feet separating. Now guys, I know I've talked about this before, but you don't need to spend hours upon hours in a gym to get an efficient workout. If you're looking for a lean physique and you're looking for that kind of physique that you see with that I have in this video that Brandon has that kind of lean sprinter, soccer, um, you know, athletic type of physique. The jump rope, especially weighted handle jump rope, is a great way to build this physique because you're combining great components of cardio, so in endurance, with the heavy weight, or sorry, the, the weighted handle rope, which helps you hang on to some of that lean muscle mass and shred fat even faster. Good guys, keep it going, keep it going. And if you mess up, by the way, you'll see me mess up like multiple times. And look, I just keep jumping. It doesn't matter. You're going to mess up, guys. And trust me, at the beginning, I sucked. I was doing this, you know, couldn't do it for more than 15 consecutive seconds. And when I have a new rope, by the way, this is the Cross Rope um, Premium Starter Set. It is freaking ridiculously awesome. And this black rope is kind of new, so I'm actually messing up with it a little bit more than I would in some other videos, but it's totally fine because it is one of the best ropes. So as you get used to it, just understand that you will get better. Um, same when just completely starting out. Next up guys, jumping lunges, jumping lunges. So all that we're doing here is making, this is the front angle that you guys are seeing, but make sure that you're pressing off when that front foot comes down. Make sure you're on your heels, not your toe, because you want to press back off so that you activate your glute muscles in the process. Good guys, good. Keep it going. And I can see if you notice, I can throw my arms up a little bit to gain some momentum. That is perfectly fine as well. And lastly, we're going to go into our last set of regular bounds. So a lot of people ask me, guys, you know, how many hours, minutes per week do you work out, Dan? And honestly, my, my answer to them is 
I work out no more than 30 to 45 minutes per day because I'm doing so many of these jump rope exercises um, and these fast high intensity exercises that focus on, you know, hanging on to lean muscle mass and strictly burning fat. I don't need to, you know, nutrition is one of the biggest uh, factors, guys. And when I talk about nutrition, I'm talking about eating the right amount of food, not just healthy versus unhealthy, but what amount of calories and what amount of macronutrients, carbs, fats, and proteins are you getting? That plays a big factor as well, if not actually bigger than exercise in terms of the way you look. These exercises are meant to supplement a, you know, an already well-oiled machine of eating right and nutrition. Um, so just make sure, guys, that if you're looking for this kind of, you know, physique, it's very, it's it, the process is simple. You have to eat in a calorie deficit, do high-intensity exercise like this while mixing in some weights every now and then. But it doesn't have to be this difficult, you know, sucky thing all the time. Last one, ladies and gentlemen, tricep push-up. So on this one, what I really want you guys to do is get your elbows in, elbows in, because a lot of people make the mistake of having their shoulders spread out. So what that does over time is it actually hurts their shoulder socket and can cause a lot of pain, and that is no bueno. So keep the shoulders in, keep the elbows in, and when I'm coming down here, my body is really coming pretty far out over my hands, and that's where you really engage the tricep. In the era what we wanna earn soon That's an era you can smell it In the era everybody really doomed That's why I'm back doing you motherfuckers All y'all can sell my dick All them days at the county building I'm about to make my mama rich Cartoons and I ain't felt this Scrooge McDuck Elementary hood shit